Hi, this is Olajide from CTF Security and welcome to another video on YouTube titled Web Scraping Net Niger. So web scraping is a technique that involves automating gathering of data from websites. In this video, we're going to be creating a Python script to perform web scraping on Net Ninja. Net Ninja is an entertainment website that offers latest news and other media content like um, music, videos and movies to millions of Nigerians and um, because Net Ninja is free, there are a lot of annoying ads when you are trying to download a movie from Net Ninja. So because of this, we're going to be creating Python script to automate this process for us. So but before we start, let's take a look at how uh, the end product of our script is going to function like. Uh, let me just navigate to the ending of this document where we have the script. Um, so on the net ninja, I'll just open a new terminal right here. And uh, from this point, I can just run our script. You can see we have two scripts here. So this is for the net ninja. And the other one is going to be the one we're going to supply the uh, direct link uh, from this net ninja into this download.py to get detailed information about that specific movie. So uh, let's run the Python 3 net ninja dot py. So you can see these are the latest movies on the net ninja site. So if you want to confirm this, you can just reload this page. And uh, we'll head to the menu, uh, go to the videos, and uh, to the movies. So, and this gives us the list of the latest movies on this site, uh, which we can compare with the output of our script. So, we'll just head to the script. And uh, you can see on our script, if you scroll to the top, we have the first movie here to be a Spanish movie. Uh, we have uh, the Sonic, we have the Survive. We have the bad guys and the sniper and other uh, movies right here. So you can see that this is actually the same. So we have the Spanish movie, we have the Sonic, we have the Survive, we have the bad guys, we have snipers and our other movies uh, right here. So if we head back to our script, what if we want to get enough information about uh, this movie called Survive? So all I need to do is to grab the URL for this movie scroll to the bottom of the page and supply this url as the input to the second script so we're going to be using the python 3 uh, download.py and uh, we're going to be supplying the url so i'll just paste that right here and that uh, will run our script so this will give us uh, information such as the movie story the abstract of the movie and uh, the download link so if you want to download this movie so you can just right click on this and click on open link and this will take you to uh, another website called the sabi share where all net ninja movies are located so this is actually the download link for this particular movie called survive 2022 and you can see the movie is a uh, 280.61 nb all you have to do is to just click on download and uh, your movie download will get started. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a bot script. Let's get started. Okay, welcome back. So the first thing we have to do is to ensure we have the beautiful soup library installed on our pc and in order to do that we're going to be using the uh, pip install beautiful so bs4 to verify that so we have a requirement already satisfied so that means i have um, beautiful soap installed on this uh, pc uh, the second library i'm going to check is the parser which is the pip install lxml which is what we are going to be using for our html parser so you can also see the requirement already satisfied so uh, that means uh, we are good to go so i'll just clear this now let's open a new fresh notepad 
so i'll be using mousepad for this let's call it net ninja dot pi and uh, let's and uh, add the and sign uh, so that this will open up the command once more so the first thing we want to do um, is to import all the necessary library we're going to be using. As I said earlier, we're going to be using the beautiful soap. One library I forgot to mention is the request library. This is what we're going to be using to get the content of our HTML file. So I'm just going to head to the terminal and verify we have the request library um, installed. So let's use the pip install request. Good, so we have requirement already satisfied, so I can clear all this. And uh, we head back to our notepad. Uh, so the first thing is to uh, import all the library. So if this is the first time you're hearing the beautiful soup library, so you can just go to this uh, link right here. This explains uh, the entire um, beautiful soup library on how you can use it, how you can create the soup, with it, how you can navigate with it, and how you can extract content with the beautiful soup uh, library so uh, we just jump back to our editor so the first thing we're going to do is to import so let's say from bs4 so i'll just make this somehow bigger so from bs4 import beautiful soup okay so the soup is s capital letter s so the next thing i'm going to do is to import the request library so let's import the request library and um, the next thing after importing the library is uh, we're going to get the content of the uh, html page so let's just make this a comment let's call it um getting um, HTML content so we're getting the page content let's call it uh, getting the page content so uh, before we get the page content so we'll need to navigate to our uh, target website which is uh, netninja.com so if we go to netninja.com our objective is to scrape all the videos from the netninja site um not all the video the latest video i beg your pardon uh so i'm going to just click on the video once more go to the movies so these are the latest uh movie as the time of recording uh this video so you can see the respect uh respect the jukes and then we have for zeko 2022 so what i need to do is to copy this url because i'll be using this url to I'll be supplying this URL to my request library in order to get the content of this page. So we'll head back to our script and from this point, so let's call, let's create a variable and call it page and uh, we use the request library, let's request to get the page. So what page are we getting? We're getting the page, um, sorry about that. I'm just going to put the link inside the quotation or paste this right here so we have our URL inside the request library and uh, the next thing we're going to do is to create a soup uh, with the beautiful soup so let's call it soup equals to uh, beautiful soup So we're supplying the page, the output of this particular script, which is the page. So we're supplying it into the uh, beautiful soup, but this time we're getting only the uh, text of this content. So whatever content this is, uh, this whatever output this give us, this will get outputted in form of uh, text. So the next thing we're going to supply here is the parser, which we're going to be using the LXML parser for this so I'll just close the bracket and uh, we'll go to the next line so what we need to do is now is to extract the content of one page the content of one page so in order to do this so let's just call 
create another variable i'll just add down here so let me comment this so call this um getting uh let's call it, sorry creating soup so we're creating soup here so let's head to the next let me just eliminate these uh lines so that we can see our code very well so i'll save this let's just save our document uh, okay save so the next thing is to create a new variable let's call it data so we're going to say data equals to soup that is the output of this uh, line right here soup dot uh, find so we are finding uh, so what are we finding from this page so in order to get what our uh, tag or what class we are going to be uh, looking for on the page we just head to the page and um, one easy way is to right click because we want to use this first video as an example so let's uh, right click and click on the inspect element so good so our objective here is to look for the HTML class for this one video and uh, we're going to use uh, the for loop to implement uh, the same code in other uh, videos on this page so what we need to do is to come to this um, pick an element from the page click on it and uh, try to cover uh, the respect the geox video but uh, if you are finding difficulty uh, trying to locate the class what you can do is to try to cover the entire page so um, you can just try and cover the entire page you can see this covers the entire page and you can see the div tag and the um, video file class covers the entire video and uh, if you move your cursor down to the next line here you can see that this cover for just uh, this one video right here so if I pick and I go to the next one you can also see this is inside the file one shadow so we're going to be using the file one shadow class uh, to scrape the content of the first page so I'll just head back to my code and uh, we're going to be using the div uh, sorry we're going to be using the article not the div because if you come uh, here you can see the uh, file one shadow is inside the article um, tag here so you go back to the code and you use uh, in quotes article comma and um, the class we are using so we're using the class equals to so the name is a uh, file one shadow so I'll just close the bracket and uh, now it boils down to what content do we want to scrape from this page so depending on uh, the content you want to create uh, do you want to scrape on this page uh, that will determine the first uh, parameter you're going to pick from this page so for the purpose of this video we're going to be picking the title of this video as the first um, element on our uh, script so in order to do this let's just create a new variable let's call it title and um, equals to so well, before that let me just um, comment this out scraping let's call it um, scraping title of video so let's create a variable and call it title equals to um, so what are we going to be using so we're going to be using the content because this data contain the content of the class file one shadow so we're going to be using the content of this file so data dot so we need to find where the um, title is located in the tag so we head to the tag um, and try to see where we can get the title the title so let's go to the class once more okay good so you can see the title of the video right here you can see it. okay this one is the for the second one so let's use the first one so i'll just pick this once more 
pick everything and then select this one uh, so we have the title right here I respect the Duke as an attribute inside the image tag so what I need to do is to specify the image tag and also assess it as an attribute from here so we have image and the attribute title so I'm going to head back to our script so we're going to supply dot image and in order to assess attributes uh, we're going to use the uh, this angle bracket and uh, we're going to supply uh, or is it called square bracket so whatever is being called so we're going to use the um, title so we could see the content of our page before proceeding to the next stage so I can just uh, comment this out first so and let's see the content of our page so I can print before we proceed I can print data let's see what we have inside data and save and let's run our current code so let's see the net manager where our directory is so let's um, ls the directory and let's run our python code currently okay good so we have the output of our data and um, you can see the um, file one shadow which will script and uh, you can see all the entire content of the um, file one shadow which involve the image tag and uh, the other attribute right here and we also have another uh, tag called the anchor tag and um, the i class so what we're going to do next is to head to our code and uh, we're going to eliminate this data and um, we're going to remove this comment out so now we are scraping for the title and uh, we have a variable name equals to data dot image um, title so you can find the uh, image right here and we are assessing the um, title attribute which is the title of the movie you can see the attribute right here so uh, what we're going to do next is to print the title so let's print um, title and I uh, will save this and uh, let's run that again good so we have the title of the movie so the next thing we want to do is to give this a title so we just give it um, let's just call it um, a movie let's call it movie title so if you save this and we can run that great so the next thing we're going to move to is scraping the download link of the movie so uh, and again we're going to move to the our script and um, let's comment this out let's call it um, scraping uh, let's call it video link because it's going to be the video link and not the download link next thing we want to do is create a variable and um, call it vid link so you can call it anything you want and um, very weak cost to let's locate where we can find our download or our video link for this specific video so we we'll head back to our terminal so from the data information we have right here you can see that this is the video link for this uh, respect the juice so what we're going to do is locate where we can find this um, video link and you can see we can find it in the anchor tag with the href attribute inside the h2 so you can see the h2 is inside the class uh, info so what we need to do is to assess the file one shadow uh, along with the h2 tag then the anchor tag then we assess it through the attribute so in order to do this we are going to use the equals to data dot h2 um dot anchor 
they will assess the attribute um, with the href so let's print vid link save our work and uh, let's run that great so I want um, one line space between the movie title and the um, video link and I also want to put a description at the top of this link right here so all I need to do is um, so let's fix in a line here and uh, let's give this a description so print uh, let's call it um, video link close the bracket save and let's see the output of our program great so the last thing we're going to be scraping for this video is the uploaded date so if we navigate once more into the uh, output on the terminal that is the output of the uh, data uh, we have um, the uploaded date to be this you can see this video was uploaded 2022 May 6 and this is the time of upload that is uh, 1039 what we need to do is to assess this um, particular tag right here you can see it the span tag uh, but we're not going to be assessing this just in so we're going to be assessing it along with the data so it's going to be um, data dot span that we're going to assess the title uh, so let's see how that works. So I'm just going to delete these jargons we have here and uh, Let's head to our terminal. So let's call Let's comment this out. Let's call it um, scraping of um, Upload Let's call it upload dates and um, Let's create a variable as usual Let's call it a release date uh, equals to so you can call this variable any name and uh, data dot span. Uh, okay, let's assess the attribute uh, using let's see what the attribute is. The attribute is the title. So I'm just going to head to the terminal and uh, specify the attributes to be title so um, let's print to see what we have as the output print um, release date let's close that so save our work and uh, let's run good so we have this as the release date and um, just as we did uh, for the output of the title and the video link we want a line space in between the video link and the release date and also want to split uh, this date um, sorry about that we also want to split this date and the time so what we need to do is um, go back to our code and uh, first of all, let's uh, give it the space. So let's print, um, sorry, let's put it here. Let's print line, empty line. And um, let's uh, try to split, let's give it a title first. Um, let's call it, um, Let's call it print. Let's call it uploaded date. So 
Uh, so let's split. We can split the split the um, release date. We want to split. Sorry about that. We want to split the time and the date. So we're going to just split with this character T here. So just go to head to the code. So release date equals to uh, release date. So we're splitting dot split. We're splitting with the T. Let's save our work. Let's see what we have. Great, so we have the uploaded date and the uploaded time. Now that we've successfully created um, the script to script uh, one particular video, uh, what we need to do is to implement the same method using the for loop uh, to loop through other video on the list. So what we are going to do is head to our script and um, so let's make some changes to account for that. So we just head to the data. So we just remove this and we change this to uh, for loop for data in. So we use for data in soup.find uh, we're finding all uh, so let's change this to a loop and um, we just indent this because it's going to be inside this for loop so let's see can I indent that once yeah nice so I'll just save this uh, let's see what we have so let's run our code Nice. So we have the latest movie on the Net Ninja site. So let's try to confirm this. So if I just head to the top, so we have the latest movie to be Respect the Jukes. Um, after the Respect the Jukes, so we need a space here uh, in order to make our work neat. So what I need to do is just um, head over to this print statement here and just add the print tag here and save our work uh, so let's see what we have let's run that once more okay so i think we need more space here to let me just add print uh, add one more so I'll just save and uh, let's run it for the last time. Nice. So we have um, our movie title, we have the video link, and we have the uh, uploaded date. So once I right click on this and open the new link, so this takes us to the particular video so this is where the next um, script comes in the next script is meant to automate the process of uh, downloading this actual video uh, including scraping the um, movie story so let's say I want to read a uh, brief information about this movie before downloading it so the next script will do that for us so without wasting our time let's move into creating the next script called the download.py okay so let's make sure this is safe once more so we can uh, close this and um, let's go to the terminal so let's um, clear this and let's create another script let's call it uh, download.py let me just add the and sign so open the terminal we're going to be importing the bs4 from bs4 we're going to be importing 
importing the beautiful soup and uh, we're going to be importing the request and we're going to be importing the sys library this time and um, import sys we're going to be um, let's also call args equals to uh, sys dot argv so let me just save this So next thing is um, let's comment out the next step. We're going to be getting the URL for the specific video. Um, so let's call this page variable equals to request dot get. And what are we getting? Um, let's make this responsive. Instead of passing the actual video link here into this uh, request, why not supply this at the point of running the code? Uh, is that the user has option to supply this link at uh, the point of executing the Python script? So we're going to use the sys.argv for this. And um, in order to do that, let's go to our code and uh, let's add the sys.argv. And um, this will be our first positional variable. And um, so let's enter that and make sure uh, we create a soup. So let me call this second one is creating a soup. So let's create the soup to be soup equals to just like the first one soup dot um, sorry beautiful soup so we're passing the page the text content that is from this section of our code we're passing it inside as a parameter to the soup and um, comma we're passing the we're specifying the parser which is the lxml parser so we just close the bracket move to the next line so next thing is to scrape our data out so let's call that data equals to our soup dot find so let's find uh, the tag that comprises of all the information we want to scrape out so we we'll just head back to our uh, site uh, let me just make this a bit smaller so um, let's just right click inspect so here on our site we're trying to find uh, the tag that uh, comprises of the movie description and uh, sorry about that the movie description and the abstract of the movie uh, which is this and the movie description so uh, what we need to do is um, pick our tool and um, try to see which class this uh, belong to so you can see the entire class here which is the post body here so I can pick the post body and try to see if this con the content of the abstract and the um, the abstract and the movie description is right in this post body, we're using the article post body. Okay, so head back to our script. So let's use the article comma post sorry class equals to post. post body and let's save and um, in order to scrape um, let's create a comment let's say scraping 
uh, movie description so let's call it a uh, summary we can just create a variable cost to um, first let me print the content of our data uh, so I can uh, print data just save and run our script make sure you pick the link to the video because you're going to be supplying it at the point of execution uh, so let's call it python uh, python3 download.py we'll supply the link we just run our script so good so we have uh, this to be the content of our data currently and we are looking for uh, the part that contain this uh, movie description right here this uh, a corrupt young sorry the the dream for um, the dream is for the taking so let's just head up here we should be having something here okay uh, so this is the description and we have another abstract description inside the P paragraph right here nice so we can work with this let's head to script and um, first of all we're going to pick the P paragraph here and um, let's just delete this because we don't need to print the data on the screen and um, let's call it summary let's just create a variable and call it summary you can call it any variable name you like let's call it data.p assessing the p tag and uh, let's print summary summary just save our work and we'll run the script once more so nice we have uh, the dream is for the taking uh, so what if we assess the summary text and not just the summary let's just save this and uh, let's run that one more time nice so we get the uh, content of the p tag instead of outputting the p tag and the em tag along with the output here so the next thing we're going to uh, move to is formatting this as you remember as a convention we just print um, let's call it um, let's call it movie story uh, stories okay so just save this uh, so I can just have a space before that just a line and uh, the next thing we're going to do uh, is to try to get the content of the abstract which is um, if we head back to the site uh, this other description which is this other description right here a corrupt young man ventures into blah blah uh, so let's go back to our data take a look at the data we have here you can see that um, we have uh, two paragraph here so this happened to be the first paragraph on this uh, article on this article tag with um, class post body we have also another paragraph called um, we have another paragraph here uh, which the content is a corrupt young man venture to the United States in quest for American dream so uh, this is the second one so if you want to assess this uh, based on index we have this to be the index 0 and this to be the index um, 1 so in order to implement this we just head to our script and um, let's call this um, Let's call this scraping, scraping um, movie description 
too although something i noticed is that uh, some movies have this movie description too some don't have it so we'll just create a provision for that in this uh, script um so what we need to do is uh, let's call it uh, summary 2 equals to so let's say soup dot find all all the p tags we are looking for all the p tag on this script on this page and um not just the p tag we are assessing the let's print so we are assessing the print tag that has the summary to the index are uh, one and uh, we're assessing the dot text and uh, we will just close this so save um, so let's put a space here a line and uh, let's run our script okay great so we have the second description right here so uh, there's no need of uh, putting any description above uh, this second paragraph right here so what we need to do is uh, head uh, to the next part of our script and um, on the next part of our script we have um, let's head to the site okay yeah to the video instead so we have um, another description right here called respect the jukes so this is what i call the abstract so what we need to do is to scrape this particular section of the page so i'll just pick my tool once more and i'll put it right here and we have this to be uh inside another paragraph but this time around inside another class so we need to create another soup for that so I'll just go to my code. So let's call this. Um, let's comment it and call scraping. Let's call it block description because inside the block code. And uh, let's call it. Um, let's create the soup name. Let's call it block code equals to soup dot find. So what are we finding? We are looking for, um, let's see, on the page, what is the class name? Content, quote content. Okay, so we are looking for quote content. So I just put this in quotes. Does it have an S? No, it does not. So just um, code content and the class equals to um, I think I made a mistake. The code content is the class. So let's make this the class and uh, the name of the tag is block code so it has to be in the code so, so i'll just close here and um, so let's call it um, abstract the variable name equals to so uh, block code that is the output of this but let's print out the output to see what we have first so before I do this let me just uh, print block codes so just save run the script Okay, there's no comma or could be the problem 
soup dot find block okay there's no equals to rather just save run great so our objective is to look for that sections that said um respect the jukes 2020 respect to the jukes 2020 in this section so it should be somewhere around here okay good so this is it so it's inside the p tag so what we need to do is go back to our code and assess the p tag using this block code so we're going to say abstract equals to block code dot uh, p so we're going to print abstract so i'm just going to save make sure i give um a space print and uh give this an a, a header uh let's call it print um I just name it abstract so just save so let's run nice so we have the abstract here to be just but we need just the dot text so what we need to do is just add the dot t text here and we save we'll verify that nice so we have the abstract of the movie so the next thing we want to do or the last thing is to get the actual download link for this particular video and uh, to do that comment this out so create another comment and call it um, let's call it scraping our video link so let's create a variable called video vid link and um, let's say it's equals to so what section so if we head back to our terminal where we have the full data on our page what section can we find the uh the download link to this video so um i don't think that can be found here so we'll go to their site and uh we're trying to find where the download button is on this page so you can see the subtitle and the actual video download link so all we have to do is pick our tool one more time and try to over over this button and you get the class name and the div tag for this particular button here so if you want to do the same thing for the subtitle let's say you want to create another link to download the subtitle for this uh video you have to just uh pick your tool and click on the subtitle button here and that take you to the class where the subtitle button is so for this video we're not going to be uh working on uh, the subtitle rather we're going to be scraping the download link so uh, feel free to implement this on your own uh, script and um, give me a feedback in the comment section of this video so uh, for now we're just going to use the download video button right here and you can see it is inside the div tag and the class db1 so uh, what we need to do is um, let's uh, go ahead to scrape that particular link there but before i do this let me create we have to create a soup um let's say let's call it um data2 equals to let's call it soup dot find so what are we finding we're looking for um the div tag and uh, the class equals to 
db1 great uh, so I'm just going to save this and uh, let's try to see the content of data tool now so before actually assigning a variable let's print data to and see the output nice so we can see the output of our data to the db1 class which uh, comprises of the anchor tag and the href attribute to carry that carries the download link to this uh, video you can also see the title and you can see the submit and other attributes on this um, anchor tag so what we're interested in is just the href so we're just going to assess the anchor tag and assess the attribute so we'll just head delete this and just create our vid link let's call it vid link equals to data2 dot uh, anchor and we're going to be assessing the href so I'm just going to print what we have on the vid link currently so let's print that out nice so you can see this has the video download link but uh, without the uh, website which is um, the netninja.com so what we need to do is to create an initial variable and assign the netninja.com and then concatenate it with this uh, string right here so in order to do that to we'll head to our script so let's just come to this top here so let's call this uh, initial variable equals to let's call it um, let's grab the initial here so you can see it here just copy this from this point here so just copy this and uh, head to our script so i just put this as a string then we need to concatenate this with our output so i'll just come over to this point here then say vid link was to initial plus concatenate it with the vid link variable that is we are concatenating the output of the this string right here with whatever output we have on this line right here so let's save that and try to see if what we have make any sense uh it says denied what do we have what do we have what do we have what's the problem uh vid link do we have any issue right here vid link is not defined okay name initial okay i think i have an issue with the spelling initial okay just add an i here Start okay so just run that once more nice so we have our full uh, download link so all I need to do is uh, put a description then put a line uh, to differentiate the abstract and the uh, download link so just put a line here first as usual and um, here put a description and call it a uh, download link so I'm just going to save this and uh, let's see what we have nice so we have uh, information about our movie story we have the abstract and we have the download link uh, of our video so if I right click on this it should take us to the actual download link for this video so let's head back to our script and so I can just um, 
add just one line here and just save our code okay yeah so that is saved and um so what we need to do is let me just um ls what we have here change mode so let's just make this executable it's already is but uh just for formalities so we have uh, the two scripts so we've succeeded in creating both the netninja.py and the download.py so let's test this how to see how this works let's run the first script python 3 net ninja nice so we have the list of all the latest net ninja videos and uh, what we can do is to let's say i want to be specific about this video this um uh, i think it's called um snoopy present to mom and dad so i'll just copy this link right here so let's copy that here to the bottom of the page so let's supply that into our second pro uh, script so let's call it python 3 download.py just supply this here and run our script nice so you can see this give us the movie story so this is our description tool on our code and uh, we have the abstract and we have the download link for this uh, specific video so if you want to confirm this you can look for this video for the one that hold it all together uh, so I'll just head to the net ninja site head to the video section head to the movies what can we find the movies yeah here just to reload the page and uh, so let's look for that particular video okay I think this is it so I'll just open this movie right here so you can see all the whole description here you can see this section for the ones that hold it all together so you can see the ads um, I was telling you guys about so a lot of annoying ad when clicking on uh, some page on the uh, net ninja site but this script has um, automated the whole process so with ease we can download uh, movies and get enough information we want without having uh, have to deal with the annoying ads on this page uh, so I'll just open this you can see it here if you head to our script you can see every information you need about this movie so if you want to implement yours you can also add these gems the movie gems you can see I think it's found somewhere was it on the first page I saw it somewhere okay yeah you can see this is under animation so you can also create something like this to give you the feel of the kind of video gens that particular movie is uh, you can implement this all you have to do is just uh, uh, take the inspect the screen and um, pick your tool and uh, try to click on the yeah click on it so you are using this uh, same code content class on this block code to extract this gens uh, section of the screen so guys um that will be all in this video uh please make sure you subscribe and uh, if you like this video share it to your friends and um, see you next time